So guys, for the first step, you want to get into this screen. Now to get here, you want to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As it's turning on, you want to quickly turn it back off again and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times. So you want to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As it's turning on, you want to quickly turn it back off again and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times, it will then take you into this screen. And now it's going to say that your PC did not start correctly, you want to click on advanced options. And now once we're here, I'm going to be showing you three methods on how you can fix this problem. So for the first method, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then system restore. If you do not see system restore, then you want to click on semen recovery options, then it should appear right here. So you want to click on system restore. If you have a restore point that's been enabled on your computer, you want to click on next, and then you want to go back to your restore point. See if that works for you. If that does not work for you, for the second method, you want to click on cancel. Now we're going to go to troubleshoot, advanced options, and then start to prepare. It's now going to start diagnosing your PC, see if this works for you. If that did not work for you, then we're going to go to advanced options, troubleshoot, advanced options again, and then command prompt. And now once we're on this, we're going to be typing in some commands. So for the first command, you want to type in bootrec space forward slash fix mbr. Click on enter. And now we're going to type in bootrec space forward slash fix boot. Click on enter again. If you get this error, just ignore it. Now we're going to type in bootsect space forward slash nt60 space sys. Click on enter again. And now we're going to type in bootsrec space forward slash rebuild bcd. Click on enter. And now for the last command, you want to type in sfc space forward slash scan now. And I click on enter again. Now you just want to run this scan. Wait for the scan to load, it may take a while. And now once you complete the scan, you just want to close out of command prompt, continue to Windows, and then the problem should be fixed.